A mere few hours after Ruben Owens decommits from Louisville, likely due to the coaching changes of Satterfield out to Cincinnati, Jeff Brom in from Purdue. Ruben Owens now commits to his new team, Texas A&M Aggies. What does this mean now for Owens and the Aggies moving forward in this 2023 class? So let's start with Ruben Owens, the player. He is a five-star in the consensus rankings, but a four-star on most of the sites. He's listed at 5'11", 200, plays in El Campo, Texas, running back here. On three, he is listed as RB3 and a four-star. At 24-7 Sports, he is listed as their RB1 and is also a four-star. He is listed as RB4 for ESPN and RB1 for Rivals. Four stars in all of them, but does get the one-star bump to a consensus five-star with all of the ratings combined. For me, Ruben Owens is an extremely interesting player. He's exciting in the short area, has great vision behind his line, and is extremely decisive and cuts and gets upfield quickly. He has great bursts and accelerates into the second level. And usually once he gets into the open field, he is gone. We have him clocked at 21.5 miles per hour. I do think that he does a really good job with this little jab step fake uh, to get defenders going. And then he reverses and goes in the opposite direction. Great job at shaking off tacklers as well. Does show a couple routes and some decent catches on film. The big thing people will knock him for is the fact that he is 19 years old as a senior. So he's a little bit older playing younger competition. And on top of that, he plays some pretty poor teams schedule-wise in the Texas area. I don't necessarily want to knock him a lot there, but that is something that he has been knocked for. Now he is going to Texas a and He leaves Louisville where we thought he was easily going to be the guy. A lot of people on our side of things here at Campus to Canton were excited about him. And for the fantasy side of things, thought this could be a guy you could plug in year one and be the guy who's Travion Cooley opting out. It was leaving this room wide open. He goes into Texas a and I think the room kind of still be white might be wide open. They do have Amari Daniels there, a prospect from last year, four star kid, five eight, two hundred pounds though. They also have Le'Veon Moss, another high end kid. He was a four star in last year's class. We were fairly high on him, five eleven, two hundred. While I expect Moss to probably be the guy for Texas A&M to start off the season. I do think Ruben Owens could get some run early on, and then they could go back into that two-man backfield that Jimbo Fisher has shown he likes to use at times within the past couple years, especially when they had Devin Achain there and Isaiah Spiller. Now, obviously, neither one of these guys are necessarily Achain. Well, Owens is the closest. He's got a little bit more speed than Le'Veon Moss. I'm going to be excited to see what this means, hopefully, Jimbo is going to give up some play calling duties or at least switch up the offense a little bit to possibly make Owens more viable for us on the fantasy side of things. We have him a little bit lower ranked. He is RB3 for us, consensus at campusdecant.com. So we're right in the same range. We don't have him at one where most of the other websites do, but we do have him at three. We're on three does, and ESPN has him as RB4. He's going to be an exciting kid. Again, just a mere two hours after decommitting from Louisville, he ups with the Texas A&M Aggies. Guys, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn that bell icon on. Transfers are going crazy. Early signing day is literally two weeks away from today. We're going to have full day coverage for you. You guys don't want to miss any of that stuff. And you want to check out any of the other stuff we do for the website, all of that will be linked in the description below. Have yourselves a great night. We'll talk to everybody again.